Okay, uh, this is going to be a rather short tutorial, just building on to what we did last time with um, PhoneGap and their online builder for uh, applications for uh, mobile devices, uh, for iPhone, uh, Android, Windows Mobile, Blackberry, uh, so forth and so on. And uh, last time I showed you how to package your entire application that you wrote in HTML using JavaScript and CSS and all the necessary files for that into a zip file and uploading it. But I also mentioned, and uh, I know since I mentioned it, people are going to ask, so I figured might as well do a video on it, basically making an app that's just a portal straight to your site. Um, and I plan on doing this in a future video, manually writing out the code uh, in Java for a uh, Android app in this series. But I'm going to show you how to do it very simply here. And I actually haven't tested this out, but I'm going to assume that it works. So hopefully I don't look like a fool here. I'm going to say uh, Vim. I'm, I'm in an empty folder, by the way, on my system. I'm just going to use Vim as my text editor. Once again, always just use whatever text editor you are most comfortable with for writing out your code. Um, so looking at my web browser here, this is the app that we created in the first uh, part of this uh, series. Basically, it's just a list that we can quickly search through. I've uploaded to my site, uh, filmsbychris.com forward slash scripts forward slash list forward slash index.html. That's where it is now. If you're watching this video two years from now, three years from now, ten years from now, it may not be there anymore, so don't ask. But you can go there. It might still be there. I'll try to leave it up. Um, so going back here, I'm going to use Vim as my text there, and I'm going to create my index.html because you need an index.html uh, for PhoneGap. It's going to be the main page of your application. So now that I've, uh, I'm in the editor here, I'm going to say... So, I'm going to say script. I'm going to just write this up just as it's a um, an HTML file. Uh, but I really don't need all the HTML stuff in here. It's not that important. I'm just writing the script part of it. And I'm going to say window.location equals, and I'm going to give it my URL that I just said. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash filmsbychris.com forward slash scripts forward slash uh, list forward slash index dot html. Of course, this could be a PHP, oh, a PHP file or whatever. I can point it directly to Films by Chris if I wanted to. Um, so this is a simple uh, redirect here uh, using JavaScript. In fact, I'll go Google uh, Chrome as my browser just to show you to test it out before we package it up. I'll hit enter there. And there you go, it opened up my browser and redirected to that site automatically. Going back here, now we will just zip that up. I'll zip it up using zip. I'll say, I'll call it myapp.zip and zip it my HTML. So there's one file in there deflated to 10% its size. So if we list it out, you can see it went from, uh, well, since it's one file, it actually got bigger. Uh, but in most cases, when you're uh, compressing multiple files, it does get smaller. There's not enough information in there for it to compress. But that's getting into how we compress files. And uh, it's an interesting read if you ever look that up. Anyway, going back here, I'm going to go to build uh, phone build.phonegap.com. Uh, also, you know, once again, as always, be sure to watch the previous videos in this tutorial, especially the one right before this, because I'm skipping over a lot that I just did in the previous video. There should be an annotation to the playlist somewhere on the screen. I'm going to go GitHub, uh, authorize this app. I'm already logged into my GitHub account. I'm going to agree to their terms and complete my registration here. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to upload that zip file. I'm allowed to upload one zip file uh, to this. And uh, I need to go to uh, my app. Okay, there's the zip file we just created. Open. We'll give it a name. I'll call it my redirect. But of course, you call it whatever you want. There's also under settings, you can uh, create an icon stuff. I'm just going to leave all that blank. I'm going to say ready to build. And it's going to start building it. Uh, I'll click over here. And again, if you go to settings here, you can create uh, icons and uh, other information for this package. I'm just create. I'm just going to use the default. And when it's done building, and just as I showed in the last one, 
iOS and BlackBerry are going to fail at compiling because I don't have any keys. I have to sign up to get some signature keys. Android uh, uses keys, but they're not required. Uh, once again, I think they're required if you want to post something in the Google Play Store, but if you're just going to distribute the APK on your website, no signature key required, uh, and HP and, and the Windows Mobile don't require them at all. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, other than showing you that it works, in which case I'm going to cut to a camera view here, and I'll scan this little QR code uh, with my phone and install it. Uh, I could also click the APK there if I wanted to. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, here's the app working, hopefully. Once again, I didn't really test this before I made this video. Okay, here we are, and I've got my phone ready. I'm going to open up Google Goggles. Uh, the only reason I see that this may not work is that it may not allow you to redirect outside of uh, the current application, like off the local domain. But we'll see. I'll click the phone, or the camera button there. Come up here. It took a picture. It scans the barcode. And I click the link, and it starts to download it. Go back to my home screen here, go to the toolbar, it's done downloading. I'll click on the APK, it gives me options, I'll say package installer. It gets a whole bunch of um, permissions. Uh, I'm going to click install. And it's done installing. I can now click open. I know you can't really read that. I'll click open. And in theory it should open up our application on the internet. Loading loading there we go it worked so that redirected to my site so we're actually inside a local application that's just a portal to my website so I can search through our list here Oop, if I type in letters that work and if those were clickable buttons they would uh, do something so sorry about the quality of filming this like this but I just wanted to show you that it does work uh, and all I had to do was either scan that QR code uh, or download the APK and install it on my phone. Uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Uh, and uh, if you haven't, watched the rest of the videos in this series on um, making your applications um, work across platform and cross device. Uh, Chris with the K, link in the description. Have a great day.